Hey guys, how are you? So first things first, I am wearing a hair mask. This isn't like a style, although it could be. I think I look cute. <laughs> I am trying out this one by Bread Beauty. So technically, it's a sneak peek of a future video. I was just sitting there and I really wanted to film and I thought, you know what? I actually don't need to do my hair to go onto my own channel. Just gonna make a quick announcement. This is a hair mask friendly zone. <laughs> and <laughs> moving forward, I might just do every video in a hair mask. because so this is the perfect multitasking moment. Today, I wanted to catch up on my makeup reviews. So I'm gonna review some products that I got by a brand called Euphoria. They're a very minimal style makeup brand. Not Euphoria as in the TV show, it's spelled Euphoria. <laughs> this is them. First thing I wanna show you is the packaging. Now, I love this packaging. I think it's adorable. I love the colors. It's giving Lego. It is, like they fit onto each other. Magnets, like what's the other one? Oh my God, I'm showing my age, but what was the other toy? It was like Lego, but it was like Lego for like really cool kids. Kinetics, was it Kinetics? Admittedly, this packaging is very young. It's pretty juvenile, but I'm so into it. I'm just, I love it. Their makeup line isn't huge, but the one thing that sucked me in was this blush oil you heard that correctly it's literally an oil that as you apply it to your skin it finds the perfect shade of pink for you and it just blends out in the bottle it looks green i promise you it's not green on your skin i'm going to show you how i apply it and the finish in just two seconds the next product is the lip gloss it's the dewy gloss hydrating lip gloss and i got the number 01 soundstage i never in my life thought i'd see the day where i'd go for this kind of purple like that is horrid that color if it actually came out that color i would not be wearing it very simple but i saw their pictures of their swatches on actual lips and it looked stunning i have to insert the picture of the swatch now because this is this is what lured me in i saw this and i was like that's actually exactly what i want i love a sheer color i love a very natural color i love a little bit of glitter i really really do <laughs> the third item i got is their little lego packaging so you know how i said the whole thing just reminds you of lego look at this right so if i had a few more products i've got a little base for four products right and you just pop this on this sits next to my mirror where I get ready in the morning and I love it. And it's such a good marketing technique because every time I look at it, I wanna buy two more products just to fill it up. And then I know I'm gonna fill it up and I'm gonna be like, well, I can't see the Lego. So now I need a second Lego and it's gonna be a constant spiral of me just wanting things because they look like Lego. The fourth product I got from them was the application brush. It's just a big fluffy angled brush. That's it, not very exciting. Right, so let's get into some reviews, shall we? So this brush, if I could turn back time, I wouldn't have bought this because I don't actually use it. It's a good brush. I might use it for some other powder products, but I bought this to apply the blush oil with. It said on their website and in a few like videos I've seen of them that this is a great brush for spreading out the oil. But for me, I feel like it spreads it too far. It just goes all over my face. I prefer a much more precise application. They say to put on a few dots on your face and blend it out, but I tend to go for a line. I try and put the line quite high as well. Boom. You can see like the green instantly turned pink. The brush I use to apply it is this one by Real Techniques. Very pink because all I use it for now is this blush oil. And I like to blend it back and forth across this line, up around my eye and then a little bit down. First, just dispersing it a little bit. See, it just starts to instantly spread out, take it up and then just keep, try not to get it too close to my under eye. That's why I prefer this brush because it's quite, it's just the shape that I want, you know. You can also do this with your fingers, but I prefer having a brush. So, can you see how like stunningly that has blended into my skin? Like it's actually insane. I think it looks so pretty. It's so easy. 
and I hope it's showing up on camera. I might just grab some lighting one second. Can you see when the light hits it? That's your highlighter done completely done that is such a natural dewy glow of a highlighter it just for me it's the selling point like having that pretty pink color and then also having that dewy glow when i use this brush it goes everywhere it spreads it out so much which for some people might be good for you but for me it's just it's not it's not where i want the blush to be i end up with the oil underneath my eye down on my cheek it's just shiny everywhere and it kind of just takes away from the beauty. It is buildable. You could definitely build this up into a stronger color. It's one of those products when you get it, you need to just spend some time with it. Get to know it. Have a good makeup sesh together, you know? That sells itself. I don't need to say anything else. Okay, so now on to the lip gloss it's very moisturizing it's a great formula honestly but i put on the lip balm under everything i don't care how good it is i love a lip balm underneath i use this one by nivea i think it's hydrocare it's got spf it's just nice in the tube this looks extremely glittery extremely dark purple extremely like something i would never ever wear Thank God for the swatches on their website because I never even would have considered this. But let me show you this lip gloss. Let me show you. So I put on like a very thin, very sheer amount, but I already think that looks stunning. It doesn't even look glittery. Like compared to how it looks in the bottle, it doesn't even look glittery. You get like the occasional speck of glitter, which I love, subtle glitter chef's kiss i'm into it but look at the color like that is such a my lips but better color it is so freaking nice it is not sticky it's one of those non-sticky formulas love that it just feels like a very moisturizing lip balm let me apply some more so you can see what it's like if i put on a thicker layer Look at that. No one can tell me this isn't a stunning lip gloss. It feels amazing. Like I just put on double the amount and I still don't feel sticky. It is a lip gloss. And with lip gloss, they always wear off. There's no such thing as a long lasting lip gloss. It doesn't exist, right? So <laughs> bear that in mind. But you know how some lip glosses, they wear off and they just look gross and your lips go really dry and they feel gross. That doesn't happen with this. It just wears off to like this nice pinky color, but with no shine. It wears off beautifully. It layers beautifully. I just love it. <laughs> so all of this glow, all of this glow, it's all euphoria and it's giving youthful. Like it lives up to the name. I feel very youthful, especially with my gorgeously styled, totally not in a mask hair. <laughs> so overall with you, I definitely want to try more from this brand. I highly recommend both of these products, especially for the lazy makeup people of the world, you know, like we don't want to use a lot of brushes. We don't want to use a lot of products. Just give us a blush oil. We can like tap into our face and we're done. <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.